Have you ever wondered how wrestling, an ancient sport rooted in the annals of history, transformed into the theatrical high-energy spectacle we know today as WWE? Today, we're diving deep into the evolution of this fascinating world. In the late 19th century, wrestling was a legitimate competitive sport, often featured at carnivals and fairs. Yet it was the advent of television in the early 20th century that really brought wrestling into the mainstream. Wrestling promoters recognized the potential of this new medium and quickly seized the opportunity to broadcast their events to a larger audience. Then, in the early 1950s, a visionary named Vincent J. McMahon emerged. McMahon was a second-generation wrestling promoter who saw even greater potential for wrestling's future. He launched the Capital Wrestling Corporation, the precursor to what we know today as World Wrestling Entertainment, or WWE. McMahon's Capital Wrestling Corporation joined the National Wrestling Alliance, a collective of wrestling promotions that dominated the sport for years. But Vincent J. McMahon wasn't satisfied with simply being part of the pack. In 1963, he broke away from the National Wrestling Alliance, rebranding his promotion as the World Wide Wrestling Federation, or WIWF. This marked a significant turning point in wrestling's history as the WWWF set new standards for production value and storytelling. In the late 70s, another game changer took the reins. Vincent K. McMahon, son of Vincent J., bought the company from his father and rebranded it as the World Wrestling Federation, or WWF. He had a vision to take wrestling to even greater heights, pioneering a new era of wrestling entertainment. Under Vincent K. McMahon's leadership, the WWF introduced larger-than-life characters, immersive storylines, and high-energy matches that captivated audiences. The 80s and 90s saw the rise of wrestling icons like Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, and The Undertaker, who became household names worldwide. Yet, the world of wrestling was not without its controversies and challenges. In the early 2000s, the WWF was forced to change its name to WWE, due to a legal dispute with the World Wildlife Fund, which also used the abbreviation WWF. Despite this, the WWE continued to grow and evolve, introducing new eras and superstars, and solidifying its place as a global entertainment powerhouse. Today, the WWE is synonymous with professional wrestling, and its influence can be felt throughout the sport. In summary, the history of wrestling is a tale of evolution and innovation. From its roots as a competitive sport at carnivals, wrestling has transformed into a global entertainment phenomenon, thanks to the vision and ambition of promoters like the McMahons. Despite challenges and controversies, the WWE has continued to push the boundaries of what wrestling can be, pioneering new characters, storylines, and eras that have captivated audiences worldwide. So next time you tune into a WWE event, remember the journey that wrestling has taken to get to where it is today. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of this ancient sport and the power of innovation in entertainment.